Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. Keep in mind, I do have the next, uh, I don't even know, 10 weeks planned out because I did like a voting. However, if you suggest a pretty easy one, I might be able to squeeze it in, do a, a midweek bonus. I don't know. We'll see how the time goes. So anyway, this one, shout out to Jamakos Green, Leo Horwitz, Horvitz, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, Aljek Games, Mick Sheep Master, and Zaniumer. Yes. Did my best with that one. Uh, this is No Cheat Plus, and it is made by Asshole Fold and managed by um, My Pictures. Well, it's not made. It's authored by, there's a few former authors, so it's been around for a while. It's super, super popular, and what it does is it really, it just runs a bunch of checks to make sure people are not uh, operating outside uh, the normal operations of the game. Now, if you're using anything that would modify gameplay like MCMMO, Magic Spells, Machina Craft, uh, etc., there's a few of them out there. I think Citizens is out there as well. Um, you have to run a follow up plugin with No Cheat Plus called Compact No Cheat Plus, and that's basically a compatible No Cheat Plus. It adds a bunch of stuff to bypass those checks that are in those plugins. So, Let's get into the perms. There is a whole lot of perms. Your basic ones are no cheat plus dot notify. That's just going to notify people of any, uh, you know, that'd be like your mods. So they, they're aware of people who are who are breaking checks. You have no cheat plus dot admin. Um, that gives them access to all the stuff to edit anything in in the game. There's no cheat plus dot shortcut dot info. That's uh, it's just a it's going to give people info. Now I'm kind of going over these really quick. I would highly recommend that you just click on the uh, permissions page and go uh, read all the description of all these permission nodes. I'm going to skip a bunch of them. So no cheat plus dot shortcut dot monitor. No cheat plus dot shortcut dot safe admin. You can give that to people and they're not able to ban people or kick people, but they can modify like their exemptions and stuff like that. Um, and then you have no cheat plus dot command, which has a bunch of child child permission nodes under there. No cheat plus dot bypass dot deny login. So what that does is if somebody was accidentally kicked automatically um, or banned automatically from no cheap plus they'd still be able to um, log in there's a whole lot of bypass permission nodes and then uh, you have no cheap plus dot checks now that is the overall parent uh, config so you want to give that to your your default group so that it checks everybody who's in that group then there's uh, a bunch of sub ones under there no cheat plus dot checks block break block interact block place chat combine fight inventory moving and then there's a bunch underneath all of those like i said you probably just want to give no cheat plus dot checks to your default group and leave the rest up but there's a lot of stuff in there you can like negate the permission note and then it won't check that group for that stuff that's pretty cool there's a bunch of permission nodes in there as well that pertain to some minecraft mods uh like smart moving zombie rei uh, mc auto map kind of stuff like that and then all any permission node you can add dot silent at the end of it and then it removes it from being logged it'll still be enforced but it won't be logged anymore which is kind of cool now let's get into some commands so you have your ncp Oh, I got to display it. You have a whole lot of stuff in here. So you can do NCP notify on and off. So you can turn that on or off. Uh, so we'll probably just leave that on. And then you have, uh, you can do NCP info on any player. And it's going to tell you their, um, their violation levels, what violations they've done, that kind of stuff. You can do NCP lag, which is kind of nice. I mean, if you have essentials, that's already built in slash TPS. Um, you can do uh, NCP remove player uh, and then the player name. And then if you want to, to specify a specific check of all the information that you want to remove from there, that's kind of nice. You can exempt players in here. If you do NCP exempt 
and then the, the player and then the check that you'd like to exempt them from and then you could do ncp on exempt uh, my spell not right and then player and then you can also do some ncp ban, uh, ban uh, player and then the reason reason is not necessary you don't need to put it in there and actually before or right after ban you can put in a delay of ticks so you, you put 40 that's going to be two seconds it so it'll it'll execute that in two seconds um what else can we do you can actually do this instead of kick you can you can do kick instead of ban you can do unkick which is going to unkick them you can do ncp kick list and that's going to show all the other people who are denied uh login temporarily you can do ncp tell player message so like a private message you know if you have essentials or anything like that you probably have that already um and then you can actually do ncp delay and then add the ticks and then a command so you can delay any command that you want okay so that's all we have for the in-game commands not a whole lot you could do there's just like management stuff uh, in there um permission knows that we just talked about now let's hop over to the meat and potatoes of the whole plugin in the configuration file modifying the checks that it does and all that stuff so let's hop over and check it out okay so here we are in our server like you see all the time so we're gonna go into plugins and then we're gonna fire up the no cheat plus now we see we already got a log file created and the config file is what we're really gonna look at here um, so we'll go ahead and reload that bring that over here we're gonna make it a more appropriate size all right then we're gonna scroll all the way back up to the top so no it's a couple things you can make per world config files which is so cool the first thing you want to do is uh, decide do you want the uh, settings from this config.yml file to be to copied over to all of those if you do you want to change this to false because what you do is once you create the config file here let's pop over i'll show you guys all right so what you want to do is you want to create a new file we're just going to do text document we're going to name it um world sorry world nether config.yml so what that does is that creates a per world config file and then we're going to pop over to the console which you can do it in game too is ncp reload so what that does is that reloads all the things and then it will make uh this it'll fill this in which is super cool now if you leave this to true then it's going to take the default config file for each one of those if you put it on false it's going to take this config file so it's a way that you can create kind of apparent how your server operates in the per world so if you want to just change one little thing um per world then you can you can do that so keep in mind it's case sensitive so if you have a world name that is capitalized or whatever it is then you need to change that in the when you're creating the file name so uh pretty much not a whole lot to to comment on here it's pretty straightforward uh logging active you know you can set that to false or true data expiration so you can you can decide how long it stays around protection so that you can hide what plugins you do use um, you can uh, require console only being op and d op which is kind of cool if there's some pl plugin uh, mods out there that would let people run those in the game um, overriding permissions that's kind of neat so now we're getting into the checks now the checks is where it gets really complicated now you can just let it run the default ones and let it go um, however i'm going to explain how these work so you have your block break that is associated with that permission notes no cheat plus dot checks dot block break and then this is the sub of that direction fast break frequency no swing reach wrong block all that stuff so you can set these to active true you can uh, strict delay all that stuff now here's what happens if it gets triggered it's going to cancel their action so that's what that means right there and then um, if the action is above a violation level of 10 that's what vl greater than 10 then it's going to it's going to complete the next step of actions so this one is just it logs it 
and it logs a direction which is a string which I'll show you guys it's at the bottom of the config file that's all that we can put in here the delay which is zero and then the, the uh, how long until it logs it again which is five seconds and then this will um, show uh, this will be what happens next now you would might you might be thinking if now what I and F mean actually is I means it's gonna log it in game so it's gonna show it in the in-game chat it's gonna show it to I think just the people who have the notify permission node and then F means it's gonna log it to that log file if you put C in here it's also gonna log it to the console those are the three options C I and F and then it's going to still cancel the uh, the the action so the other option that you have in here is command so we're gonna scroll down a little bit you see a whole lot of different string variables that you have in here like I said it's pretty much set up right out the bat so here is the um, the commands so here we go we got chat commands um, this is uh, So what this does is it's going to log and then it's going to log the command that they're running delay every five seconds console file and then it's also going to cancel the action then it's going to command kick and then it's going to run the kick command string which is at the bottom and then if it's actually a violation level above 20 it's going to log the command cancel and it's going to do a temp kick one which i believe is kind of like a temp ban so uh, that is pretty much it talking about this you can kind of look at some of these options you can see some of the strings in here now the strings you can't really put a bunch of stuff in the strings area it's just a a name to reference an air a space or a place that will then show you what it's going to happen so let's scroll all the way down to the strings section so we saw temp kick so if we scroll down to temp kick temp kick one it's going to run this command ncp temp kick one player one wait minute so it's going to kick them for one minute uh and then temp kick five so basically you can modify what is called now we got b direction it's going to call that string which is really cool and um yeah hopefully that made sense to you guys it's kind of crazy like i said you pretty much can run this and then just kind of modify it on the fly you just need to do ncp reload after you modify the config file you but you can do it while the game is running you don't need to restart every time um, and there's a lot of great examples here you can compare and contrast and modify your own you can exempt your own you can change the violation level now there's a whole page describing violation level because it's actually different per uh, check and it depends on like how bad they violated it how you know if it's like a reach thing how far they reached how far they flew whatever it is um, and that I'll have a link to that in the jibbles or the description box for you guys and you can kind of see what's going on in there you can kind of figure out how it determines violation levels and all that stuff but pretty much I would just recommend uh, start using it and then modify it as you go if you're using any of those plugins that modify gameplay I'd highly recommend that you use you use that compat which is a compatibility plugin there so let's hop back in the game and um, sign out so hopefully you guys found that helpful Thank you guys for watching this week, and uh, be sure to check in next Friday. Um, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. I think it's Vote Send. I'm not sure. It'll be on the screen, I'm sure. And um, we'll catch you guys next week. Hopefully you found it helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and post any questions. I'll do my best to answer it. I've used No Cheat, Cheat Plus very limitedly, so you might be better off posting on the author's bucket page but i'll do my best to answer any questions so this is cause from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless